When we think of Alaska, we think of beautiful landscapes, snow-covered trees, and freezing temperatures. It's a land wrapped in beauty, danger, and stories that still have yet to be told. Although not many serial killers have been there, there have been a few that laid their mark in the land of the midnight sun. Today's story is one of those stories that has yet to have an ending, Eklutna Annie. Some have heard the story of Robert Hansen called the Butcher Baker, Alaska's first serial killer and human hunter. But while many of his victims were able to be identified, some sadly weren't able to have their identity given back to them in an interview, Hansen admitted to killing a young sex worker in the fall of 1979. He said he didn't ask her name, but he remembered her because she was his first murder. Although she died in the fall, it wouldn't be until July 1980 when her body was found. Her body was discovered in a woodland area one mile south of South Eklutna Lake Road in Eklutna, Anchorage, Alaska. Her body was decomposed, but an autopsy report was able to answer a few questions about her, determining at the time of her death she was between 16 and 25. Although her remains were skeletal, and was all, it was also determined she had been killed by a single stab wound to the back. It was also determined she was a petite female standing between four foot eleven and five foot three. In the shallow grave, several articles of clothing and jewelry were found believed to belong to the victim which included a brown leather hip jacket, a light-colored knitted sleeve shirt, which many believe had been white or beige due to dirt. She also had worn blue jeans and red high heels, high heel zip-up boots. No wallet or identification was found in her pockets. Only a box of Sal Salem's and matches were found in her jacket pocket, which might have indicated that she was a smoker in life. Upon further examination of her body, she was wearing several pieces of jewelry, including an apparently handmade metal bracelet containing three turquoise stones, a copper necklace with shell beads, a heart pendant, and a Timex metal wristwatch cons consisting of circular links and with a brown face, a ring carved from shells and plated gold, twisted metal hoop earrings, what happened to her was something many still wonder until during Hansen's interview, where he went more in depth about the night in question. According to Hansen, Eklutna Annie had been wearing blue jeans, a sweater, and a brown leather jacket, which did match what the victim's body had been found wearing. However, he was unable to remember whether she was a prostitute or an exotic dancer. Although he did state he believed she was from Kodiak, Alaska. While talking, he further recollected, I picked her up downtown, and I told her I was going to take her to my home. But when she realized he wasn't driving in the direction of his home, she first asked him to drive her back to Anchorage which he didn't claim, claiming he was looking for another spot for them. Hansen said he told, told her he was going a little further, to which she replied, well, I'm not. 
and he pulled a gun saying, you do exactly as I say and you won't get hurt. It was that it was then the pair drove in the direction of Eklutna Lake while driving. He recalled he picked his pickup truck becoming stuck in the mud. Hansen then claimed he persuaded Eklutna Annie to help him winch his pickup free from the mud. Although when he began to drive his vehicle free, she attempted to run but she didn't get far. He chased her, grabbed her by her hair, and ripped her to the ground. The two struggled, and she screamed, Don't kill me, don't kill me. According to Hansen, he had first attempted to lie to her as he restrained her, telling her he never intended on harming or killing her. But she screamed and said, you are, you're going to kill me. He said it was after this he stabbed her once in the back with a butcher knife after turning her face down on the ground. While, 20 and, while 2D and 3D reconstructions have been made of her face, she has yet to be given her name back. After 42 years, authorities are still hoping someone will recognize her or know who she is and come forward. Annie is only one of two victims of Hansen's that have yet to be given a name, but many believe more women were victims of him too. If you're curious about him and a bit more of his story, I have a few episodes in my playlist on Robert Hansen. Thank you all so much for listening. If you have any recommendations, please feel free to comment or contact me. I'm on all social media and they are linked on the page. If you would like to support the show, you can find me on Patreon, which is linked as well. Please feel free to leave a like and rate and review if you enjoyed the show. I'd love to hear from you guys as well as your thoughts on the case. Please be respectful to the parties involved, and until next time, take care.